Hi, this is Dr. Gonzalez again. Today we're going through some demonstrations of how to read MSK ultrasound for the healthcare provider. We're going to show mainly an Achilles tendonitis case today, and I think you'll all see that it's actually very easy to see, and you'll feel more comfortable reading your images after this video. As we all know, Achilles tendonitis or Achilles issues is a very hot topic and a buzzword, especially amongst running com communities. And many athletes will come in telling you they have quote unquote Achilles tendonitis. So these MSK ultrasounds we're going through today will go through some normals, some abnormals, and also some cases which showed that there were, Achilles wasn't really the issue, but it was some tissue around it, which made the patient feel like it was the Achilles. Doing these images in the office really helped us being able to show the patients what their pathology or their condition really was. And I think you'll be able to see by the images, they're very easy to see, and created a treatment plan around that afterwards that the patient's willing to follow was actually very easy. Let's go over some images. Let's start off first with some normals, and I think you'll see that by looking at this normal, that actually the Achilles tendon is actually the top of the screen. First we'll start with the skin layer at the top, um, and then the Achilles, then there's a bursa area, and then there's the heel, uh, or the uh, calcaneus. And you'll notice that the tendon is actually one continual size. It looks like a freeway. And as we pan to the next image, we'll see that it's actually unlabeled, obviously. You can see, still see that freeway appearance, and you'll see there's not any blatant, overwhelming swelling or blackness within this picture. A lot of swelling or adenomous changes, as we call it, show up as black. And this is actually a black canvas with things of increased density showing up as more white. And you can see the bone on the right side, or the calcaneus, is actually a very crisp white with a lot of black shadow behind it, which insinuates it's a bone. Going through the next one, this is actually a, we call it a short axis view, or cross-sectional. And same reference, skin's at the top, then we have the Achilles, which in this case we labeled it, and you can see that it's a cylinder-like structure. Just deep to it is some deep calf muscles, and then you have the back of the shin bone of the tibia. Again, going through an unlabeled picture, I think you can see, if you pan back and forth, what, what the normal structures are. And again, everything looks like it flows very well. There's not any blatant differences within this picture that uh, a uh, high schooler or, or someone with less education and reading these could pick out. The next one is actually, this is someone who, this is again that same cross-sectional view, someone who had uh, pain within the Achilles. And you'll see there's fluid actually um, in and around the Achilles, we call it synovial thickening. So the fluid, it can be edema, it can be blood, it can be a lot of things, but for the most part we say it is fluid because there's black. And if you see into this next picture, you'll see those same black areas, again unlabeled, so you have a better view of actually what's going on. The next view, this is the long axis view, or uh, orig the original view we showed. So there's the skin, uh, the tendon, the muscle, and the bone. This, this picture in particular, there's not the heel uh, in it because the uh, adenomous changes was more up the tendon, so we had to take the bone out. But you'll see that the freeway appearance is actually not there, and there's actually an area black within it. Uh, and when you take the, lab or the labels away, obviously you see that there is that same edema in that area where the tenant would be. It doesn't look like on the normal picture where there was nice smooth lines and it almost looks like a freeway or I call it the freeway sign. So this one is very, has a lot of distension in it, a lot of edema or we call it adenomous change. Now when we go to this next one, this one's actually a case that uh, it was very interesting. The person came in with quote unquote Achilles tendonitis and he was referred in by another um, soft tissue therapist or, or, uh, or doctor and um, he'd been treated a few times on the Achilles and just non-responsive. So we did an ultrasound on him and you see that actually the, there's a freeway appearance to this tendon. So it looks fairly good, but you see just deep to it, there's this area of blackness or uh, adenomous change, which is more questionable. And we saw this with looking, obviously under ultrasound here, but it was also confirming that this is exactly where the patient felt pain. Um, and when we measured, uh, we actually cut off the measurements here at the bottom, but um, measurement of 0.34, 
was the first one. Um, and actually, this is within normal limits. It's within the normal range for the Achilles tendon. So again, the question is, how much is, is that adenomous change within the muscle attaching to the Achilles um, causing the pain for this person? I think a lot. Here's a cross-sectional view or, or a short axis view of that same tendon. You'll see that it's, uh, it's at the top of the screen. And it looks like there's that area of black just below it. And when we scanned along, we can actually see that um, there is areas where this blackness was not there above and below this point or this image right here. Going through the next image, we actually put the Doppler on and there was hyperemia in the area as well. So it means the body is trying to heal up some type of damage within there. So I like Doppler mainly because it helps us identify or almost like pinpoint stuff. And if there's something where we're like, well, maybe that's the issue, the person feels pain there, let's see and throw a Doppler on it. And if there's lots of new vascularity or angiogenesis, then it's an area for concern. I think it puts up a bigger red flag. Now this is a different case that we're going through here. And this was actually a, again, he called and he said, I have Achilles tendonitis. And I said, we'll see. So we checked on ultrasound and there was definitely swelling within the tendon. And we measured this one so you can see. And on the left, there's a second measurement of an area which is not as inflamed. And you can see it's almost two times the size of the inflamed area. So there's some a lot of blackness within the tissue as opposed to the normal one, which we can always go back and look at. But this is definite area of uh, adenomous change in fluid within the tissue and basically Achilles tendonitis would be confirmed in this person. Now this next image here, actually we slid off a little bit. Um, we're just going kind of medially and laterally and we saw that there's only certain sections would have that overall girth to it. And you do see there is an enlarged point of this tendon as well. And this is just off a little bit to the medial side. So it's not that much of a difference from that last shot, but at the same time, you can see there's still a lot of fluid in there and the way we like to call it is angry tissue. Now looking back at the normal, I want you to, to see that what a normal is again. Um, and it's very clear to see, and it's very confirming for the patient to see these changes. And that last person that I showed you, he was blown away by how big it seemed on the image. So it's always important to show the patient so they're more compliant. And we can do this right here in the office without having to refer out for an MRI. And this being very accurate, it's about 95% roughly. Um, we'll see if we can find those references for you. But for the most part, it is very accurate to diagnose these, these conditions correctly. And I think you can see that MSK ultrasound does have a good value in diagnosing um, and ruling in and ruling out Achilles tendonitis. Now, as this becomes more popular, you're going to see these come into your office a lot more. So I thought this video would be a good idea to get uh, other people, other providers in the area, uh, get their feet wet and mainly of reading these things because they were hard for me to read in the beginning. They look like a big snowstorm on the screen, but as you see more and more, you start to pick up some of these things and it's very easy to read and show the patients if you know what you're looking at. So if you guys have questions about where to learn things or, or you want advice, feel free to contact me. I'd love to help. Um, hope this helped everyone out and talk to you soon.